Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Skyrin Zimik. Here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Monday, the 4th of May. India enters third phase of coronavirus lockdown with some relaxations. COVID-19 not as deadly in Pakistan as in other countries, claims minister. And Afghanistan probes alleged killings of Afghans by Iranian guards. And now for all the details, India on Monday entered the third phase of coronavirus lockdown with some relaxations depending on the containment zones. The number of coronavirus cases in India crossed 42,000 mark on Monday. As the third phase of nationwide lockdown imposed to curb the spread of COVID-19 in India began on Monday with some eased restrictions on offices, factories and construction work, the country reported a total of 42,533 coronavirus cases with 1,373 deaths. Long queues were witnessed outside liquor shops in several provinces on the first day of the lockdown 3.0 as the sale of liquor has been permitted by the authorities except in the containment zones. More number of vehicles were also seen on roads in the national capital after Delhi government announced several relaxations amid the lockdown. Citing the rising number of cases in New Delhi, Health Minister Harshwardhan on Monday said the region should be given minimum relaxations with more stringent action in place. But I believe that the country of Delhi is one of the countries in the country where the situation of Corona is still in the country and there is a lot of और ज्यादा गंभीरता से करने की आवश्यकता है और उस नाते इस लॉकडाउन 3 के अंदर दिल्ली जैसी जगह में मेरे विचार में व्यक्तिगत तौर पर कम से कम छूट जो है इसको अभी लिबरलाइज करने के लिए दी जानी चाहिए मीनवाइल एज पर गवर्नमेंट्स ऑर्डर बैचेस ऑफ माइग्रेंट्स स्टक इन डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री आर बीइंग प्रोवाइडेड स्पेशल ट्रेन्स एंड बसेस टू रिटर्न टू देयर होम्स अमिड द लॉकडाउन the migrants are being examined and made to take all necessary precautions to prevent the spread of the virus during their travel. India on Monday paid tributes to five security personnel who lost their lives while saving civilians taken hostage by terrorists in India's Jammu and Kashmir. Two militants were also neutralized in the gunfight in Hadwara town on Sunday. Indian security forces on Monday paid tributes to security personnel who lost their lives in an encounter with terrorists in India's Jammu and Kashmir on Sunday. At a ceremony in Srinagar city, Indian Army laid wreaths on the caskets of the fallen heroes and paid their last respects. Their bodies were to be later sent to their hometowns for the last rites. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi also paid tributes to the security personnel and said on Twitter that their valor and sacrifice will never be forgotten. At least four Indian Army personnel and a police official lost their lives in the encounter, which broke out during operations to free civilians taken hostage by militants in Handwara town of Jammu and Kashmir on Sunday. Security forces also gunned down two militants in the exchange of fire. India has long blamed neighbouring Pakistan of helping terrorists infiltrate across the border to spread unrest in Kashmir Valley. India on Monday conveyed its strong protest to Pakistan over a recent order by country's Supreme Court allowing the conduct of general election in Gilgit, Baldistan. India said Pakistan must vacate all areas under its illegal occupation. India demarched senior Pakistan diplomat and has conveyed its strong protest 
to Pakistan over an order by the country's Supreme Court allowing the conduct of general elections in the illegally occupied territory of Gilgit Baldistan. India's foreign ministry in a statement on Monday said Pakistan was told that the entire Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh, including areas of Gilgit and Baldistan, are an integral part of India and that Islamabad should immediately vacate the areas under its illegal occupation. In a recent order, the Pakistan Supreme Court allowed the amendment to the government of Gilgit Baldistan Order of 2018 to conduct the general elections in the region. India's foreign ministry said the Pakistan government or its judiciary has no locus standi on territories illegally and forcibly occupied by it. The ministry said Pakistan's recent actions can neither hide the illegal occupation nor the grave human rights violations, exploitation and denial of freedom to the people residing in these areas for the past seven decades. Amid a daily spike in coronavirus cases across Pakistan, Minister for Planning and Development Asad Umar has claimed the pandemic has not been as little in the country as it has been elsewhere. Pakistan's Minister for Planning and Development, Asad Umar, has said the coronavirus had not been as lethal in Pakistan as it has been in other countries, especially in the West. Addressing the media at the National Command and Operations Center in Islamabad on Sunday, Umar said the coronavirus has caused 58 times more deaths in the United States, 207 times more in Spain, and 124 times more in the United Kingdom as compared to Pakistan in the same period. The remarks came as Pakistan is recording a rise in coronavirus cases daily with its Punjab province the worst hit. The karam hai ke Pakistan mein aur Pakistan jaise mamalik jo hain wahan par jo is khitte mein jo mamalik hain wahan par ye bimari utni molak nahi sabit hui ke jitni ye Europe ke andar ya America ke andar hui hai aur ye farak jo hai ye koi thoda bahut farak ka nahi hai. Meanwhile, the resident in Pakistan's Lahore city continued to raise concerns over their livelihood affected by the coronavirus lockdown. Pakistan is under lockdown until May 7 to contain the spread of the deadly virus. Pakistan's coronavirus tally has so far crossed 19,000 after 989 new patients were diagnosed over the past weekend. Around 450 COVID-19 patients have died in Pakistan. In news from Afghanistan, Afghan officials on Sunday launched a hunt to retrieve bodies of Afghan migrants from a river in western Herat province after reports that Iranian border guards tortured and threw Afghans into the river to prevent their entry into Iran. Afghan officials on Sunday launched a hunt to retrieve bodies of Afghan migrants from a river in a western province after reports that Iranian border guards tortured and threw Afghans into the river to prevent their entry into Iran. Afghanistan's foreign ministry in a statement on Saturday said an inquiry had been launched. A senior official in the Afghan presidential palace said initial assessment suggested at least 70 Afghans who were trying to enter Iran from bordering Herat province were beaten and pushed into the Harirud River. Doctors at Herat district hospital said they had received the bodies of Afghan migrants, some of whom had drowned. The Iranian consulate in Herat denied the allegations of torture and subsequent drowning of dozens of Afghan migrant workers by border police. The incident could trigger a diplomatic crisis between Iran and Afghanistan at a time when the coronavirus pandemic has seen a mass exodus of Afghan migrants from Iran with many testing positive for COVID-19. Nepal's COVID-19 tally has reached 75 as 16 more people were tested positive for the infection on Sunday. The spike in numbers is the Himalayan nation's highest daily increase in COVID-19 cases so far. 
the total number of coronavirus cases across Nepal has reached to 75 as 16 more people in its Banke and Parsa districts were tested positive for the deadly virus on Sunday. The spike in numbers is Nepal's highest daily increase in COVID-19 cases since it first confirmed the virus in January. Meanwhile, as a nationwide lockdown imposed to contain the spread of COVID-19 has been extended for the fourth time until May 7, capital Kathmandu is witnessing surge in lockdown violations. Security checkups set at various points around the city have also stepped out vigilance and are confiscating vehicles plying on road without genuine reasons and permission. In order to implement the lockdown imposed since March 24 in the Himalayan nation, a total of 9,500 Nepal police personnel have been deployed throughout Kathmandu. Along with Nepal police, armed police force and traffic police personnel have also been deployed over the city to keep vigilance over the violators. Amid a nationwide lockdown, a few restaurants remain open in Bangladeshi capital Dhaka to serve up traditional food during the holy month of Ramadan. Ramadan may be a month of fasting, but for many Muslims, it also involves a gastronomical feast. A few restaurants remain open in Bangladeshi capital Dhaka to serve up traditional food for breaking fast during the holy month of Ramadan, attracting long queues of customers as the usual markets are closed due to the lockdown. The country has been in lockdown for over a month due to the coronavirus pandemic, with many businesses shut and no prayers being held in mosque for Ramadan. Ramadan may be a month of fasting, but for many Muslims, it also involves a gastronomical feast. There is a lockdown going on in Bangladesh right now because of Corona, and all these shops are closed, all the food shops. Only one shop is open, so we are buying iftari. We have come here to buy iftari. And uh, there's a, a very serious situation in Bangladesh right now, in Dhaka especially. However, restaurants which remain open are expected to adhere to strict rules, including maintaining social distancing and providing hand sanitizers for customers. The workers also have to wear personal protection equipment. Bangladesh reported over 9,450 cases of COVID-19 with at least 177 deaths on Monday, according to local media reports. Indian Navy and Ghost Guard switched on decorative lights installed on the ships on Sunday evening to honor medical professionals and others involved in fighting the coronavirus pandemic across the country. Indian Navy and Coast Guard illuminated their ships off the coasts of Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal on Sunday to honor health workers and the police who are working on the front line to battle COVID-19. The outlines of ships illuminated as soon as the sun set, playing music and shooting flares in the sky. The ships are uh, the best way of expressing the Navy, so at the moment you can see uh, the uh, five ships which are uh, illuminated at Anchorage here in Mumbai Harbour. Uh, we have just seen uh, the flares also being uh, fired and uh, this is our way of expressing gratitude. Earlier in the day, the country's Air Force flew aircraft low over more than a dozen cities, part of a nationwide campaign by the armed forces to thank healthcare workers and other essential services personnel fighting the coronavirus outbreak. In the financial capital of Mumbai, television showed fighter jets roaring over the famous Marine Drive. In the southern city of Bengaluru, a helicopter showered flowers over Victoria Hospital as doctors and other medical workers in hospital gowns and masks cheered on. Indian Army band members also played musical instruments to honor healthcare officials. Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now, our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com and you can also visit us on Facebook.com slash AsAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at AsAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night.
सब्सक्राइब टैग टीवी यूट्यूब चैनल एंड प्रेस द नोटिफिकेशन बटन